Jackie, and if you're new to my channel, my voice doesn't normally sound like this, I'm just a little sick, but for today's video, I'm gonna show you my everyday makeup steps. So it's really just my foundation and powder routine, as well as a little bit of brows, a little bit of mascara, and then I'm gonna show you all my favorite MAC lipsticks. So I think it's so fun to switch up your look with different lipsticks, especially for school, uh, just because it's, it's less like maintenance than like doing a smoky eye one day, like wing liner. I mean, all that stuff is fun, but if you're a little bit more simple with your makeup, then lipstick is really fun to play around with. And I thought I'd show you my favorite MAC lipsticks. I think I have like 14 I show, so there's quite a few swatches and uh, a big variety. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. And I don't know, I thought Valentine's Day is coming up and nothing makes me feel prettier than buying a new lipstick and rocking it. So I hope you guys get some new ideas for maybe some lipsticks you wanna pick up and let's get into it. Starting with skin, I make sure that my face is moisturized and I'm going in with the primer. I keep reaching for the Maybelline Master Prime and I use the primer because it helps blur and smooth the skin and gives a nice barrier between the skincare products and the makeup. I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Foundation as always. This is the oil control formula and this foundation has mixed reviews that I've read online but I've loved it for years and it's inexpensive so I really like that and I use it for every day in a sheer layer just to even everything out and I'm keeping the texture of my skin very natural. The Laura Mercier Under Eye Concealer is my go-to. I have it in the lightest shade here, and I just apply it underneath my eyes, around my nose, and smile lines a little bit on my chin, and blend away with a beauty sponge. I just find that this kind of brightens up the skin, and it still looks natural on the skin if you just use a tiny bit. And then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. This has a little bit of a shade to it that helps conceal the lids if you have any veins. I'm just using it by itself, and then to set everything, I'm using Too Faced Primed and Pore this powder. This is a nice translucent powder that keeps everything in place, but it is very mattifying, so I'm just using it around my eyes and on the highlighted areas. Then I'm going back in with a highlighter. This you can totally use just on your cheekbones, but I find that this one is a little bit sheer and adds a pretty glow to the whole face, so I just take a little bit on my brush and add it to the other areas for the extra pick-me-up. I wouldn't recommend using this if you have more oily skin, you'd want to use something a little bit more mattifying, but if your skin is a little bit dull, then this is great and really livens it up a little bit. And this next step will too. I'm using the True Blend CoverGirl Bronzer again. I've been using this in my last couple videos, and I'm just applying underneath my cheekbones, under my jawline, a little bit on my forehead, and this adds a little bit of bronze, and it also has some gold flecks in it that catch the light and look really pretty. But again, if you're not into shimmer, you can always use something matte. For the nose, I always use the shade Nudie from the uh, Natural Matte Collection from Too Faced, and I just apply a little bit down my nose and under the tip, and that's my contour there. I really haven't gone under the cheekbones. I'm keeping my face round today just because I want to keep this look a little more natural. And on the cheeks, I'm using my favorite blush. This is a Peony Petal for MAC, and it's that perfect fresh pink. Brows I'm using the CoverGirl Brown Eye Makers in the shade Soft Brown. This one is super subtle and I like to fade in the head of my brow, sharpen up the uneven areas, and I'm keeping them very natural. I go back and forth, sometimes I really like bold brows, but with a look like this where everything is just kind of balanced and polished, I like to keep them natural and then just comb them through and use a little bit of a brow wax or brow gel and comb them up and so yeah, they look natural and polished and I'm just going to curl my lashes and then I like to layer two mascaras when I'm just wearing mascara. First, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love this brush. I like that it's plastic and this is probably my favorite mascara I've ever tried. And then over top, I am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I really like this one over top. It really lengthens the lashes and gives a extra fluttery effect. And I tend to use this one when I'm blending in false lashes as well, but this time I'm just going natural. Now for my favorite MAC lipsticks. I'm not a huge nude lipstick girl, but my favorite is Free as a Butterfly from the Cinderella Collection. It's a luster, so it's sheer, and that's my favorite type of nude. I just like something that goes on very smooth, and I don't wear a lot of nudes, but this one is my favorite from MAC. Next is this soft, bright pink with subtle um, a violet shimmer to it, and it's Max Pervet. This is definitely one of my go-tos. It's light and sheer again. It looks amazing on its own or on top of other lipstick. It's really pretty and girly. 
Velvet Teddy is my favorite matte lipstick. It's a deep toned beige, it's unique, it adds color without looking too made up, and you can definitely overline your lips a little bit with a matte lip liner and then have this over top and you'll get that full pout like Kylie Jenner. Politely Pink is classified as a dirty pink. It's a luster and I love lusters for every day because they're easy to reapply and just polish off a look quickly. I have Plank Angel Patisserie but Politely Pink is my favorite subtle pink for every day. Okay, so this next lipstick isn't for everyone, but I L-O-V-E love it. Bronze Shimmer from MAC is a golden bronze and it's a frost. It's a very cool color and I love this, especially when I'm tanned or in the center of a red lip for a cool pop of a metallic shade. Syrup is classified as a cloudy pink shade. Again, it's a luster, so it has a nice sort of glossy finish to it. This has a little bit more of a purpley undertone to it, and it's a great shade for every day again. Very romantic. And Captive is like a deeper version of this. It's a satin finish. It's this pinkish plum shade. It would be great for a date or school if you want a little bit of a standout shade that isn't too, too bold. Bombshell is a great bright rosy pink with shimmer. I love how the texture picks up on this lipstick and I've used this in some of my Victoria's Secret inspired looks. It's a great everyday color and it's pretty buildable if you want more of a pop, but again I just love the texture of it. It has a little bit of metallic to it and it's just that perfect medium pink. If you like red lips but don't want to go full out, Hot Tahiti is perfect. It's a soft reddish coral. It's a glaze so it's not too pigmented or thick and it would be also really sweet for a Valentine's Day date or just a date in general. Now for the dramatic red. I love Max Russian Red. It's a very intense matte bluish red. Very classic and sexy pinup for a date. Makes the teeth look very white because of the blue undertone. And in contrast, there's Lady Danger. It's another one of my favorite reds. It's also matte, but it's this vivid, bright coral red. Would look great on warm toned skin, especially. Hug Me is a flesh pink, and it's in a luster finish. Another very natural lipstick that just kind of defines your natural lip shade and brings a little bit more of a brown undertone to it. Going darker, Diva is on my list. I love this matte intense reddish burgundy. This looks more purple or red depending on your skin tone or lip color, but on its own it looks a little bit more on the red side on my lips, and it's such a luxurious color. So I definitely would recommend checking this out if you like more of a bold lip. This one is the new Ariana Grande Viva Glam Lipstick. If you are following me on Instagram, you've probably seen this on me already, but it's a deep dark plum. I wouldn't say this is my favorite because I don't wear a lot of deep shades, but it's super cool and different. So if you're into kind of a more vampy look or you just want to go bold, then I definitely recommend checking this one out and the Viva Glams go to a great cause. So they're always nice to purchase. And I'd say my most frequent everyday shade is Politely Pink and probably Velvet Teddy, so let me know in the comments down below which MAC lipstick is your favorite. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple makeup look as well as all the different lipstick swatches. You can really switch up your look with just lipstick. Like right now, I feel very badass. I don't know if I've ever sworn on my channel. Oh, but yeah, I just like the all black look right now. I might end up wearing this on Valentine's Day because, um, no plans this year, but we'll see. Just kidding. I'll probably wear pink anyway, but um, yeah, let me know if you have any favorites from the lipsticks that I showed or if you have a favorite you want to let me know about. I love MAC lipsticks and make sure you're following me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. All the stuff will be linked in the down bar, but especially Twitter. There's like 1% of you guys who follow me on Twitter, which is kind of lame. So I think more of you should check it out, even though I just like tweet about like random song lyrics and when I'm hungry, but I try my best <laughs> with my Twitter account. So. So go check it out and I will see you guys in my next video. Won't you tell me how you feel? I share my